Hi, Silver. Teddy, I missed you. Thanks for taking a break from the campaign trail to come home and watch me work. All right, man, look, the poll numbers are stressing Marissa out. She's writing me like sea biscuit to finish these videos for the website. I get it. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you. Campaigning with my uncle makes the tennis tour look easy. But on the bright side, my family is talking to me again. They even invited me to my sister's wedding. That's great. So who's the lucky date? But, but like a mandate? Yeah. Oh, my dad would have a stroke. Besides, I just haven't really met anyone I like. Since Shane? He's a good guy, Teddy. He's just passionate about politics. And he was kind of a jerk about it. But I miss him, too. Well, <clears throat> if you need a beard for your sister's wedding, my social calendar is woefully empty. We're all going to Vegas! Full disclosure, Naomi's actually Hey. Hey. So how's the campaign going? Good. So should we talk about religion, too, or stick to fighting about politics? How about neither? Good. Because I owe you an apology, Teddy. I get caught up in the issue sometimes, and I forget about what's important. People. Although I admit, it's, it's been hard to forget about you. Yeah, me too. So, maybe when I get back in Vegas, we can hang out? Yeah, that'd be great. <clears throat> OK, uh, I think this is where Shane, you say Vegas. That sounds like fun. And then, Teddy, you say, really? You want to come with us? But she said. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Cool. Seriously, how two guys ever figure out how to date is just beyond me. <laughs> Gosh, please. Yeah. There. What's wrong? Did the date not go well? It was one of the most romantic evenings of my life. So why exactly is that sad? What's the point of dating? I mean, so I can fall in love, break up with people for the rest of my life? I mean, there's no end game for me, no big fairy tale where a prince meets another prince and they live happily ever after. Teddy, you can be exactly who you are and have everything you want. Gay couples get married, they start families. It's not about gay marriage, it's about me being gay married, you know? I always pictured myself in a regular marriage. The wife, the kids, Kind of happy family he's seen a catalog. Kind of family my sister's gonna have. Ah, things were so much easier when I knew what my life was gonna look like, you know? Uh, what are you doing? I refuse to sit here and see the three of us be miserable, all right? This is Las Vegas, damn it! It's the place where dreams come true. <laughs> Whatever we're doing here, it better have nothing to do with country music. Uh, Teddy and Shane are getting married. Oh, honey. Which one of you is pregnant? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I cannot believe I let you talk me into this. <laughs> Guys, this isn't for keeps, OK? There's no marriage license. All right. I just want you to see what it's like to stand across the aisle from another guy. Just think of it as a no-stakes dress rehearsal so that when the time really comes, it won't seem so scary and unimaginable. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. I have a 90-year-old couple waiting to renew their wedding vows. So are you ready? We're ready. Yeah. You'd like to say your own vows? We would. Just speak from the heart. <laughs> right, first of all, I'd like to thank Elvis. This wedding would definitely not be the same without you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Teddy. I know standing up here is scary for you. And considering I've seen you cliff dive in Spain, I know you're a guy who doesn't get scared of many things. Being brave doesn't mean not being afraid. It means being afraid, but doing it anyways. Which is why I'm more impressed with you right now than it was in Spain. That was absolutely beautiful. Groom number two, what do you got? Uh, OK, so. Here I am, and yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit. Nothing about this is what I imagined my wedding to be. Everything's changed. Except for you. That video camera glued <laughs> your face. 
because what would my wedding be without Silver and her video camera? Or without all of you here supporting me, accepting me, making me feel like it doesn't matter if this isn't exactly what, what I pictured. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm standing in a wedding chapel in Las Vegas, being married to a dude <laughs> by another dude dressed like Elvis. Hey. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah! Congratulations. For the power of the suit, I now pronounce you room and groom.